There are plenty of unwanted guests we can find outdoors all around our home. Spiders, lizards, but one person in Manatee County found one creepy crawler they did not expect. ABC 7's Katie Merriman joins us now with more. Katie? Linda, it's something you expect to see in the jungle or in a nightmare, but they are popping up more and more in our backyards, and they are not only dangerous to us, but also to our wildlife. Beautiful from a distance. Although she appears to move very slow now. But deadly close up. She's actually a very fast striker. And quite a shock to a Mayaka resident who found this 10 foot Burmese python stretched across the driveway. After calling 911, Matthew Hunt with Nuisance Wildlife Relocation was sent to retrieve the snake. People are getting them as pets, thinking that they're an easy pet to have and to handle and they're really not and when they get to be you can buy these much smaller and as time they grow it becomes an issue and they can't take care of them anymore and they take them back out into the wild and let them go. However freedom for a python means trouble for everything around it. The number one problem we're going to have with these is the echo damage the, the problem they cause to our environment they really have no predators other than us. So when they come into an environment, they, they pretty much wipe out the natural wildlife. This is the third snake Hunt has picked up this year. In the same week, he also caught this tegu lizard almost three feet long. These reptiles and their offspring are causing so much concern that they've slithered their way into Florida law. If you're going to have a reptile of this species or a reptile of concern, there's several on the list, that A, you have to have a license. B, you have to have the proper containment to have it, and it has to be microchipped. The future of this big reptile is still unknown. The next step is to scan for a microchip to try and locate an owner. If the owner's not found, Nuisance Wildlife hopes to give this python a useful job. We like to maybe use it to educate young children about the snakes, even mature children, mm -hmm. and uh, use her as a positive instead of a negative. They're nice to see, but not nice to have as pets. I don't think they're a good pet at all. I mean, they're beautiful, they have their, their purpose, but it's not something anybody that hasn't been trained to, to handle or possess should have anything to do with. Now, if you do come across one of these slithery creatures, do not try to capture it yourself. You can call your local wildlife trapper and for that number and to find out more about the wildlife relocators in our story, go to our website, mysuncoast.com and click on links we mentioned. Linda?